and now let's cut into that press conference coming of PV Sindhu. Uh, let's like let's listen in what she has to say. Uh, I also um, really happy because my coaching career first time my player get medals. So uh, I'm really happy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. We will start the questions. Um, Niru, if you can unmute yourself. Hi, congratulations, uh, Sindhu and Park coach. Uh, congratulations. Hi. Uh, I'll start with the coach, Sindhu, first. Uh, you know, when you took charge of working with Sindhu, um, what did you tell her and uh, what has this journey been like right after the medal of working with her? You know, she asked, like, what, what was your journey when we start practicing together mm -hmm. till now? How, how, do, how do you think our journey was? Uh, actually, I first teach Sindhu then. Sindhu already is India big star, yeah, and big Olympic stars. Uh, so actually, I got a little pressure. <laughs> <laughs> but I try. It's my career also never get the Olympic medal, my players. And so I said myself, okay, I also try. I can make a Sindhu next time Olympic gold medal. But we failed. But I think bronze medal very, very big. Uh, big medal. Big medals, yeah. So <laughs> I'm really happy. Uh, I thank you for Sindhu. <laughs> Good. After actually after semi final, Sindhu also a little bit disappoint me also. But I tell Sindhu, Sindhu, we have to play one more match. So we have to next one more match and we try the good result. So I believe her, yeah, <laughs> but Sindhu did it. So I thank you for Sindhu oh. very, very much. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thanks, thanks. Uh, thank you, thank you. Uh, Tapas, please ask your question. Yeah, so uh, Sindhu, uh, congratulations first. And the, so, uh, almost similar to what Neeru had uh, asked earlier about, uh, 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 I mean, what kind of uh, in, uh, influence that Park had on you, uh, considering the fact that in, even last year there was pandemic going on. Uh, so how much influence he had? Uh, obviously, uh, you know, it's it's the back-to-back medal is, is amazing. But how much his influence? And on a lighter note, uh, PM when interacted with you, he spoke about the fact that when you come back, you will he will have ice cream with you. Uh, have you decided what ice cream you're gonna have? Well, I haven't decided, but I'm sure I will. <laughs> but yeah, I think apart from that. Um, uh, Mr. Park, uh, well, I, I know him since a very long time when he was training in the Korean, uh, with the Korean team. Uh, but yeah, when he came to India um, after, after a year or so, I started training with him. And yeah, initially, we were just like, it took us some time to actually know about each other, about the game, about the conditions and stuff. But I think we always had a dream, you know, to get that Olympic medal. So I think that dream has come true, and I think yeah, uh, we work really hard, and he uh, especially has worked really hard. I think because I mean I'm sure like in this pandemic, a lot of people have suffered, and especially he couldn't go home. He left his family only for 13 days. So I think the efforts that he put in, the hard work that he put in towards me, I think that's that's really great, and I think you know all his, his effort and his hard work and we finally got that medal back to the country and I'm really really very happy about that. <laughs> yes. Thank you, it is. Um, uh, Somitra Da, please go ahead. Oh, hello Sindhu, congratulations. Thank you, thank you. A uh, uh, couple of questions both related to your training I remember we, ha we had an interaction before you left for uh, Tokyo. Um, and we discussed something that when you switched from Gopi's Academy to Gachibauli, uh, a lot of words were spoken, a lot of reports came out. Uh, considering the fact that the drift played a huge role during the matches in Tokyo, 
Do you think the decision to move from Gopis Academy to Gachibauli now stands vindicated and there should not be any more controversy? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, from the beginning, I think there was no controversy. I mean, yeah, there were so many questions and everything. But I think, yeah, it's as simple as that because, you know, when you have the opportunity to play in a bigger stadium and when it is almost like a conditions of Olympic, I think, you know, why not have, take that opportunity and play? So, you know, that's why we've decided that, you know, we will play in Gachibauli Stadium, you know, from February, we've been playing there. And of course, uh, uh, you know, Baden Association and also uh, sports authorities have really supported us because, you know, when we asked and they've given us the permission immediately and we could train from the next day. So I think, yeah, it didn't take, uh, you know, much time. So we immediately started training and it, it has really helped us because, yeah, as you mentioned, drift definitely played an important role and I've learned a lot you know, playing in Gachibauli, especially in the, you know, when there is a lot of drift. I think that, uh, you know, that control is very important. I've learned that in the last couple of months. And yeah, that really, really helped in, in, in this tournament. I just wanted to add to this question. During the final stages of the match, you and Park had a lot of eye-to-eye -eye contact, right? And yeah. who, was, who was more nervous, you or Park? <coughs> Huh? He's asking, during match, we had a lot of eye-to-eye -eye contact. Yeah. So, he was asking, who was more nervous, you or me? <laughs> me, little nervous. <laughs> yeah, but I think he never showed his nervous because as a coach, he needs to uh, motivate the players, support the player that, yes, you can do it. So, yeah, that was the support that he was giving. That is a conversation yeah. that Sindhu is having uh, with journalists over there asking her questions about her performance, a magnificent performance at, at Tokyo, in which, of course, she's won a bronze medal. We'll take a slip into a short break right now, but come back to more of this.